Hello, Leo. Welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from thetarotempress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading and it's going to be focused on your love life. If you're new to my channel, welcome. As you can see, I've already shuffled the cards and laid them out and we can begin. So the very first energy that really caught my eyes, the one that is on the bottom of the deck, this particular card is all about departures. It's all about leaving the situation, perhaps in haste or feeling as if one doesn't really have a choice, okay? I feel like with this card, there's a very, you know, interesting message that is coming with it. Some of you could be dealing with a person that walked away from the connection. Some of you may have walked away from a connection, okay? But it's most likely the individual that you're dealing with that may have felt as if they didn't know how to handle the situation at hand. Now, with this card, I also get the impression that, you know, this individual you're dealing with may have had, you know, some struggles or difficulties in relationships. And so this could be playing out in your relationship with this individual. There could be a pattern, there could be a habit to move away from situations that get a little bit difficult to deal with. But we'll explore this later, okay? Now, I see that this person that you're dealing with is the type of individual that you've been looking for for a very long time. So these energies are focused on your energies. But what I'm picking up is that this particular card is very distinctive. It's not really coming through as your energy. It's coming through as how you perceive the individual that you're dealing with. So I'm sensing with this card that there's a very high emphasis on you looking for a quality partner. You're looking for someone that can really take care of you, that can provide for you. You know, this person has to really be able to stand by your side. They have to have the strength of character, the quality of, uh, you know, human nature. I feel like you're not really looking to settle for anybody or any, you know, type of individual that can offer you any ordinary type of relationship. There's a very high emphasis here on you looking for the person that can stand by your side, fulfill you, make all your dreams come true, and the both of you can live life in a way in which you feel, you know, as if you've chosen the right person. Very big emphasis on that by spirit today. That's very interesting. I will be clarifying these cards. Now, I see the energies connecting you and the individual you're dealing with, and what I'm sensing is that in respect of communication, there could be strained communication right now. There's one of two interpretations of these two cards, okay? It feels as if communicating is very stressful for one particular individual. This could be the individual you're dealing with. Maybe you're having a hard time reaching out to them. But it feels as if, you know, it's not easy to reach out. It feels as if there's a blockage there in terms of communicating one's feelings, being vulnerable in the connection, opening up that door again, especially if one individual has left the situation and, uh, you know, uh, they may have cut off communication in some rare circumstances. Some of you may have felt as if this individual is deliberately or intentionally ignoring you. You know, some of you may have felt as if this individual, um, you know, has blocked you. Now, that could be for a very minor handful of you guys. Now, I'm seeing with these cards here, that there's a desire to show affection, there's a desire to communicate. And for these energies to show up during this particular time, it's showing that there's a, a lack of flow when it comes to the two of you coming together, being vulnerable, being affectionate, being kind and understanding of each other. And this could be, you know, presenting an obstacle to coming together. Now, this individual that you're dealing with has a very interesting way of looking at things, okay? What I'm sensing from their energy is that they're very, very determined. This person is very protective of themselves. They don't want to get hurt. And it feels as if they want to nurture that part of themselves that gives them power. Power to isolate, to keep a distance. You know, it feels as if they're very limited and stuck right now because they don't want to look at things from any other person's uh, perspective. They just want to follow one 
sort of viewpoint and that is their viewpoint this can be a challenge for you because i feel like you really do love this person and you look at them in a way in which you want them to take the initiative it feels as if it would make you feel very happy if they were to be the ones that uh, you know moves forward in this connection but it also feels as if this individual is very adamant and determined to not be you know that person that you're hoping for them to be in terms of reaching out and communicating so let's begin the clarification process. For those of you that are interested in learning how to read tarot, you can check out the courses and books in the description box below. There is going to be an extended reading. I will be going into more detail about these energies. This individual does think about you okay they have a lot of passion for you but it feels as if they're very very determined to not follow through on that passion what i'm also picking up from this individual is that they have thought about communicating with you but it feels as if there's a very strong determination to avoid this at all costs right now if some of you are communicating with this person you may have noticed that this individual is being very resistant towards showing emotion or affection they might be, you know, very straightforward, a little bit cold. You might not be able to read into their energy very well. I'm sensing that this individual is, um, you know, usually the type of person that likes to take action, likes to be the one in charge. But because of this uh, strenuous circumstances, you may have undoubtedly noticed that this individual's character has changed and they've been acting in a very different way towards you now that uh, the breakup has occurred or something has cause the divide in the relationship. Yeah, what I see is that there's two very distinctive energies here. And it feels like, you know, this individual, something is keeping them from reaching out to you because we have two energies here that are aligning with each other. It feels as if it's a very restrictive type of energy. Like they think about it, but they don't really allow themselves to entertain it. It feels like an energy of where they would like to say certain things to you, but they aren't saying it to you. What I'm sensing as well is that this person you're dealing with is, you know, feeling very sort of uncertain. It feels as if they don't really have the ability to set the path in the relationship to determine, you know, which way they want to take it. And you see this individual in light of them being the type that would take the initiative, being your knight in shining armor. If they are a man and if they're a woman, you know, the divine feminine. It feels like there's something that's really holding this individual back and limiting them from taking that initiative, which is very interesting. Under some circumstances, it could be that there's uh, something blocking this flow of energy from the person you're dealing with. So even if you were to reach out to them, you know, if you reach out in the incorrect manner or you reach out when the time is not right, it feels as if they would resist against that initiative. They would push against it. So trying to find that, you know, fine line of when is the right time or maybe what needs to change in terms of their energy. That's the key element here. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like the two, if you think about each other, but it's weighing very heavily on both your mind and their mind. It's causing a lot of stress and anxiety. And now, you know, with the planetary alignments and Neptune and everything, people are feeling, you know, weighed down and stressed out for no reason. You could be experiencing anxiety. This individual could be experiencing anxiety. 
Philosophers' zodiac signs could be experiencing it because of the way the planets are lined up during this period of time. So it could be causing a lot of added stress. Again, I'm getting the impression here that communication is blocked. I'm seeing a repeat of energies here, which are indicating that whilst there is hope, there isn't really movement or progress. Many of you could be longing for this individual's attention, their love, their care, their affection. Yeah. I see like uh, the energy for you is showing to me that you're waiting for this individual to take the initiative to make the move, right? But they're being very stubborn on this end. Let's get some additional clarification. Some of you are looking for commitment from this individual. It's quite clear that you feel as if this individual is holding back, not just in communication, but in relation to their commitment to you. And that could be very troubling. What I'm also sensing is that you're very unhappy about the fact that this individual isn't showing you the attention and love that they used to. I feel like you're trying to reason with this individual for some of you, or you may have tried to reason with them because they had a much more softer approach towards how they handled you know, their feelings and emotions. There's a part of them that you used to be able to access, you know, when you have a fight with someone or you break up with someone, you're able to know what really um, makes them soften up to you. But it feels as if trying those uh, tactics hasn't really worked in the way that you've been hoping for. What I'm also seeing is that um, the situation has been difficult because you feel distinctively connected to them. And uh, many of you could be, you know, really not happy with the way in which they walked away or the way they abandoned the situation. So what I'm going to be exploring in the extended reading is where is this blockage coming from, okay? Because I feel like they're very determined and this could be occurring deep within their energy. So I'll be evaluating it on that level. You know, what's really holding them back from communicating, taking the initiative, taking those steps going forward? What are they really feeling towards you? What are they thinking towards this connection? What are some of the things that they would like to say to you, but they're not saying? Because it feels as if they are having a lot of illuminating thoughts, but they're not really communicating it, okay? It feels as if they uh, could have their throat feeling blocked during this period of time as well. I hope you guys enjoyed your reading. You can find the link in the description box below. Have a wonderful day and take care.